and you go back to the old, I mean, I used to watch this and I mean, Kaylee, we've known each other for years and I would say, boy, I'm praying for Kaylee right now. I mean, these people were savages towards you. They'd interrupt you, they'd throw stuff. I mean, it was, there was no easy question. And with Corinne Jean-Pierre, she's able to say whatever they want. And they say, oh, oh okay, on to the next question. And it, it, it's not even a double standard. It's not even the same arena, the same galaxy, the same universe. I mean, but it also goes to show how talented you were. I think you were one of the best press. You were one of the best press secretaries in American history, if not the best, because people have to understand the the time of which Kaylee was press secretary was was the most. It was high stakes beyond, and it was confusion galore, and people just constantly spinning things for their own ideological and political agenda. And despite all that, President Trump is doing a fabulous job you know, governing the country, you were posed, you, you, you were tasked with actually communicating the legislative agenda, but Kaylee, it must, is it frustrating? Is it funny? Is it how you see how this current press secretary is treated? You must say, this is not even the same job. It, it's sad. Um, and at times when the stakes are elevated, it's, um, I would say it, it creates a lot of um, anger in me. And here's what I mean by that. I'm not a person who's quick to anger by any stretch of the imagination. You could say pretty much anything I disagree with, don't get angry. But when I get angry is when the stakes are so high for our country. So for instance, as a mother, Charlie, I know you're a father, the Nashville shooting, those six beautiful, innocent people who lost their lives, six Christians um, gunned down by a transgender individual. When I watched the press briefings that week, uh, Corinne Jean-Pierre used the word transgender and fight in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. Multiple times she talked about transgender rights. Not one time did Corinne Jean-Pierre or anyone in the administration say the word Christian. When it's an issue of this enormity uh, that that you see the press just not even acknowledge. Imagine if the roles were reversed in that and if I had not acknowledged, you know, a certain group of victims at a certain That's time. That's exactly right. There would have been a ferocious outroar. So for, for me, I can look past and roll my eyes at a lot of things, but when the stakes are so high um, on an issue like that where lives were literally lost, it does cause anger.